Hi and welcome to the channel Love Obstetrics and Gynecology. In this video, you will learn about something that is gestational age. Who should know the gestational age? What are the different trimesters? How to calculate this gestational age? Why is it important? And finally, at the end, how to read it or have a corrected EDOD for your patient. If you have to deal with the patient uh, with the antenatal patients daily, yes. Uh, as an obstetrician or as a general practitioner or you are a staff nurse you need to know about the correct gestational age of the patient before proceeding with the management of the patient trimesters as per the ACOG are uh, first trimester is from LMP to 13 weeks 6 days the second is from 14 weeks to 27 weeks 6 days and the third one is from 28 weeks onwards till 40 weeks the total pregnancy duration is of 40 weeks and we divide this 40 weeks into these three trimesters. The next we have is the fourth trimester which is actually the first 12 weeks of the postpartum period. Let's begin with some calculations now. Calculating the EDOD from the LMP. LMP is last menstrual period and EDOD is expected date of delivery. Before you proceed with the history taking, you need to know about the LMP and EDOD of the patient. For example, we have a LMP of 6th of June 2021. I am now going to calculate the EDOD. EDOD is by adding 9 months 7 days to this LMP. So, adding, the, uh, adding to the June the 9 months, which will be March of the subsequent year and adding further 7 days to it that is from 6 plus 7 which equals to 13. So my finally I get a EDOD which is 13th of March 2022. Again let's take another example which is from 26 June 2021 we want to calculate the EDOD. Adding 9 months to it again I get is March. So now adding the uh, to the 26 the subsequent 7 days which equals to 33 but we don't have a month that is of 33 days the march is a month of 31 days so subtract subtracting the uh, 31 from 33 we we are left with two more days so we change the month here uh, so it becomes 2nd uh, of april 2022 Let's further advance now. I want to calculate the gestational age on a specific date. I have a LMP of 6th June. What would be her gestational age on 10th of October 2021? So from 6th June, which is month of 30 days, I'm going to calculate the gestational age on 10th of October. So here I have is 6th June. So my six, I'll subtract six from these 30 days, which would be 24 days. So these are the 24 days of June. The next I have is July. July is a month of 31 days. Now I can either write 31 days here, but it is better to write it as four weeks and three days. These are the days. Uh, this is how I uh, created weeks and days from this 31 days of the July. 4 into 7 is 28. 28 plus 3 is 31. So, 4 weeks, 3 days. Next is August. So, again, 4 weeks, 3 days. September is of 30 days. So, 4 weeks plus 2 days. And till 10th October is what I need to know. So, days are 10. Now I'll uh, separately count these days and these weeks. So it turns out to be 42 days and 12 weeks. Again converting these 42 days, dividing these 42 days by 7 because a week is of 7 days. I get is another 6 weeks, right? 6 plus 12 is my 18. So I get is 18 weeks gestation on 10th of October. 
let's know the importance of the of calculating this period of amenorrhea in weeks why do we need the period of amenorrhea in weeks firstly uh, because we need to know the trimester the patient is in right is she in first trimester second trimester or third trimester because we are going to prescribe the investigations and the treatment according to her trimester second we want to compare the gestational age that we calculate by the last menstrual period lmp with the sonography and know if there is any discrepancy and further if there is any need of dating or not which i'll discuss in the next slides the third point is like we want to know the fetal growth progression how much uh, that is also in comparison to the sonography only that how much should have been the progression by the lmp and what age is uh, we see in the sonography and how much is the discrepancy if there is any and in fetal growth restriction it is very important to know when did this discrepancy start and how much discrepancy is there next we have is to know the exact gestational age before we can uh, come to a elective termination of pregnancy right we want to have some uh, terminations of the pregnancy at uh, at a 37 weeks or a 34 weeks but we first need to know whether the patient is actually at that gestation of 37 weeks or not now dating with the sonography i want to compare my gestational age calculated with the lmp to the one that i get on the sonography all the pregnancies should have either an abdominal or a transvaginal sonography before the age of 22 weeks gestation for a optimal dating and anything beyond this gestation if we compare a sonography just for the purpose of dating if it is beyond the age of 22 weeks it is known as suboptimal on the slide you can see a table from the acog guideline that actually helps us in dating of a patient in dating i won't go through whole of the table and remembering it but i'll like to tell you a trick of it see consider this 16 weeks and remember this 16 weeks only right 16 weeks before the 16 weeks you have it you are allowed with a discrepancy between the lmp and a sonography age of 7 days and after this 16 weeks it is 10 days why am i remembering this 16 weeks only see 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 is 7 and before the 16 weeks i am allowed a 7 day discrepancy and usually what the patients i get or i see in the opd or in the labor rooms they usually have a scan that is beyond this 9 weeks gestation right it is beyond this 9 weeks gestation it is from this 9 weeks gestation that a 7 days discrepancy is allowed and from that 9 week to 16 week i am having i am allowed a discrepancy of 7 days and after this 16 weeks till what i can call as my optimal dating which is before this 22 weeks i am allowed with a discrepancy of 10 days this is how you grossly remember this table now uh, on the next slide let's have an example of dating with sonography i have the same lmp that is of 6th of june and i am provided with a sonography scan of 31st august that shows me the crl of 11 weeks 5 days my first step is to calculate the gestational age on 31st of august again uh, proceeding with the june as the 30 days month i have 24 days left and of july it is 4 weeks 3 days and of august it is again 4 weeks 3 days so adding those are all up i get 30 days and 8 weeks so 30 days is 4 weeks plus 2 days so adding those 4 weeks to 8 it is 12 weeks 2 day 
so i have calculated from lmp to the date of the sonography the gestational age which comes out to be 12 weeks 2 day and from my sonography shows me that on the same 31st of august the gestational age is 11 week 5 day my discrepancy is of 4 days and in this table as you can see that it comes under this category from 9 to 13 weeks and here i am allowed a discrepancy of 7 days whereas my discrepancy is of only 4 days so i do not need to redate this one and my lmp is reliable so she is 12 weeks to again another example i have a lmp of 6th of june with a sonography scan of 16th october which she uh, which shows me that the actual ultrasonography age is 16 week 5 day again my first step will be to calculate the gestational age from lmp on 16th of october and this is actually 18 weeks 6 days and my discrepancy over here you can see is around 15 days and if you can see in this table this is under the category of 16 to 21 weeks and i am allowed only a discrepancy of 10 days whereas i am getting a discrepancy of 15 days so a redating is required now how to redate this is a advanced factor that you need to know if you want to be a good obstetrician first step will be to calculate the uh, edod from the lmp that you have been provided that is from 6th of june my edod will be 13th of march of the subsequent year now i want to again uh, calculate uh, what is the discrepancy which have uh, we have already discussed uh, before of around 15 days and now here is a funda you need to remember whether your lmp age is more or your sonography age is more see here my lmp age is more than the sonography age lmp age is 18 week 6 day the sonography age is 16 week 5 day so when you have the lmp more than the sonography age you add the days to the edod you are going to add the days to edod so if lmp is more you add the days if lmp is less you subtract the days lmp age so here adding 15 days to the edod my corrected edod will be 28th of march of the subsequent year that is 2022 again taking another example of the edod uh, how to redate uh, the and have a corrected edod here again the lmp is same but the sonography picture is changed it is 20 weeks 5 days on the 16th of october now on the 16th of october i have my gestational age uh, by lmp 18 week 6 days now here my lmp age as you can see is less than the uh, gestational age which is calculated by the sonography so i am going to subtract the days from the edod edod minus 13 days which will come out to be 20 uh, so my corrected edod will finally be 28 of february now this was all about the redating when you need to do this redating and how to do the redating the bottom line is you need to know the correct gestational age before you proceed to the management of a patient now if you like this video kindly do like subscribe share the channel love of strategics and gynecology thank you